Alright, so we're doing an oil service change on this Clio Mark II. This is just one of our promo cars. Just, first of all, unclip the bonnet. Now you'll probably notice that this car has a K&N induction kit here. So your car will probably look a little bit different. But essentially, the Mark II, the 172 and the 182 should be the same. Um, I might be wrong, but it's just what I originally think. So this is the air filter. Um, and yours, you'll have, probably have like a black box here, which needs to be removed. But ultimately, it's all removed by this Jubilee clip here. And this is simply what we'll be replacing. Uh, we've got Shell 5W40. Fully synthetic. We've got your oil filter here, the Bosch part, and the Laser Platinum Premium NGK plugs. Uh, it's worth getting a good set of plugs for these cars, otherwise, you'll just have to change them uh, sooner rather than later. Um, so, let's crack on with uh, first of all, we'll jack up the car and get it onto axle stands. So we've got the car jacked up and also on the axle stand just on this axle just so we can get a good access to the sump plug so we can drain the oil which is right here okay so at this point we realized there was a bit of a problem we didn't have this it needs a specific tool to actually unscrew the sump plug and this is the tool you need we had to go out and buy one as you can see it has like a square end but it's not the size, say, that you, the end of your wrench would have on. The size is actually 3 8 um, And it's called uh, Drain Plug Key Square 8 mil. And we got this from Halfords. It was $5.99. Uh, sorry, $4.99. So just to bear in mind, if you are doing this job yourself, you will need one of these tools. Or if you can make something yourself, um, to stick in there, we didn't have the resources at the time, but we've got the tool right now, so let's undo the sump plug. Alright, so we have the new bit on the end of our wrench here. And we're now going to put it in place in the sump plug, and we're just going to attempt to uh, sort of loosen it for now. That's actually come away quite easily there. So what we need to do now is get what tray is in place here. I don't think the bucket is going to work because uh, we can't seem to get the car high enough. So we'll put some trays in here and we'll uh, we'll work it out. And once that's pretty much drained, you can go ahead and put the plug back in. Make sure you've got the washer as well.
All right, now, so we're back in the car now. We started the engine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn the engine off for now. Just so we can take a short look at the iCarsoft RT2, um, which is a, uh, we'll diagnose and reset faults and warning lights and also show you how to reset the, uh, the oil indicator. So, um, I'll just go back to the start here, show you what you can do. Click on diagnose, click on Renault, click on oil lamp reset. This is available just by clicking the link below this video, um, www.diagnostic-world.com. So we're going to click on oh, Clio 2. And there you go, these are the instructions on how to reset the oil light. So just pause it on this screen if you want to get a closer look. And that's pretty much all there is to a, a oil change, oil filter change and spark plugs uh, change on the Renault Clio 2. Thanks for watching.